First Sergeant Kep here with Company D, Second United States Sharpshooters, along with Private Turnin. Today I want to talk to you about how to care for your Civil War reenactment uniform. Now, during the Civil War, soldiers only had to care for their uniforms long enough to make it to the next government issue. If anything happened to their uniform before that next issue, they would have to pay for that after pocket. So soldiers did care for their uniform. They often uh, sewed and mended them as necessary. They tried to keep them clean when they could, as well as care for all their other accoutrements, uh, their leather and their weapons whenever they could. Now, during the Civil War, typically the soldier, uh, the officers are the most well known for keeping their uniforms the cleanest. But a common way of cleaning your uniform during the Civil War was with a garment brush. And you can find these today. I bought this one off of Amazon. It's either, I can't remember if it's badger or boar hair, but it's firm, but not super stiff. It has a wooden handle. This is the, the brand that I got. Not a sponsor, but I've been very happy with it. And we've been getting a lot of use out of it lately. So with uh, natural fibers, there's usually like a direction on most fabrics and you kind of want to find that. And sometimes it's trial and error, but all you do is you just brush the uniform. Sometimes it's nice when someone's actually wearing it. And you'd be surprised at how much uh, dirt and dust, and not to mention all the grass from your weekend's battles, will actually come out with just a, gar a simple garment brush. And then after that, at the end of your weekend, you would go back home, hang it up on a, a clothesline on a nice dry day, let it air out, dry out all your sweat, or in a, a nice cool dry place somewhere in your home. Uh, you, you definitely do not want to store your uniform damp in any way because it will mildew and start to uh, deteriorate and when you have imported wool and custom-made garments like we do uh, we take great care in our uniforms because if something happens to them uncle sam isn't going to buy us a new one now a lot of reenactors including myself like to dry clean our uniforms some reenactors will dry clean their uniform after every event uh, I tend to just do it at the end of a season before I store it away in the closet uh, or my trunk for the, for the off season. And that's a really good viable option. And dry cleaning, depending on where you are, is also really affordable. And that might really work for you. But typically after events, I'll just go home and um, hang it up, let it air out, and I'll tuck it away. And I'll, I'll smell nice for the next event. Now, as you can see, as sharpshooters, we don't have to worry about brass buttons. We have our uh, Goodyear rubber buttons. But if you do have, say, a fatigue blouse or a sack coat and you have to polish your brass, heaven forbid you're a marine reenactor and you have a ton of brass, brass to polish, uh, you'll definitely want to have a button board in your uh, uniform care kit. Uh, all it is, and we did a, a video on this uh, quite some time ago on how to make a basic button board. They could be really fancy and made out of metal or just a piece of wood with a hole and a slot in it. And what this does is protect your uniform from your polishing. So you slide your button in, find its little slot on the shank, and you slide it down and then you can polish it on the uniform and protect any uh, blow off getting onto your, your wool. And you slide it off and you do the next one. And that way you can have nice shiny buttons. Now, if you do a campaign impression, uh, most of your stuff is going to be dirty. That's part of the, the impression. You are um, in between battles, you're, you're marching all day, dirty. But a lot of people also do living history or they do formal events and, and balls. There's a lot of reasons. But also too, just the fact that as, uh, somewhere in your camp, some soldiers should have basic uniform maintenance equipment. Um, let us know if you have any great tips that you would like to share on that has worked well, worked well for you preparing for your uniform in the past. Uh, be sure to stay updated on all of our future videos by hitting that notification bell. And thanks for all, as always, for liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time.